Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a virtual machine on Azure using uh, an ARM template and uh, if you watched my other video I showed uh, you how you can create a virtual machine using Azure portal and during that video I mentioned that uh, we can actually run an ARM template so in this video I'm going to show you if you have an ARM template how you can actually execute the ARM template and uh, provision the infrastructure on Azure. Hi again, uh, as I said, I'm going to show you how you can uh, provision the infrastructure using ARM template and in this uh, video I'm going to show you how you can do this for virtual machine so let's uh, create a new virtual machine and then by uh, creating a new virtual machine I'm going to show you how you can get uh, an ARM template so in this video I'm not uh, gonna uh, show you how you can create ARM template from scratch actually there is a trick which you can actually get uh, the, the ARM templates uh, from Azure then you don't have to uh, create it from scratch, especially for people who are new to ARM template. It's the easiest way to see how the ARM template should look like for every resource. And then you can uh, start looking into the objects and learn from that. So we click on the create uh, virtual machine. And I'm going to configure this virtual machine like... Uh, the configuration you need to have for this virtual machine no availability zone and for the server i choose uh, 2019 for the size of the disk uh, yeah i would like to reduce the size to b2ms for the username i put my username and for the passport just a strong password and here for the public inbound ports i don't need it the rest of the settings we can leave it as it is because this is just for test but if you would like to change something of course you can so i go to the last page and here when I click on the review and create, immediately you see that there is a new link uh, become visible, which is a download a template for automation. So I click on the link. And the interesting thing is I get the template, ARM template for uh, the virtual machine that I configured. So I can see the configuration here. Here is the list of the the objects of the template variables and the resources are needed to have a virtual machine and on the parameters tab if you click on the parameters tab you can see the list of the parameters here for example the name of the virtual machine the the ip ranges for the vnet virtual network the type of the the, the virtual machine and so on so now what i can do is to download the template so i can download the template i just open the zipped file to get the templates file i created the folder so i can uh, extract the template and parameters file into this folder and also i have a visual studio code open so i can see the parameters and template inside the visual studio It's nice, especially in the Visual Studio with different colors for the JSON file. As you can see, this is a template. You can uh, have a look to understand what kind of resources are needed, like the IP, like the security group, virtual networks, public IP, and so on. And uh, parameters, of course, is uh, the parameters file for this template. 
So as you know, for every resource on Azure we want to create, you need to have a resource group. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new resource group. So I would say uh, Z resource group minus name, for example, RG dev 002 and minus location East US. That should be enough. So as you can see, uh, the resource group is uh, created and uh, I can also check it from the portal. Let me go back to the portal. And here, if I go to the resource groups, I should be able to see this resource group here, RG Development 002, currently is empty. So I go back to the Visual Studio Code. Now we have a template here and we have some parameters. Let's have a look in, into the parameters to see if there is something we need to add uh, to the template or not. So you might not notice it, but uh, I could tell you one thing here is not provided is the admin password because admin password cannot be you know, hard coded in the template. So we need to uh, give that password uh, through the command. So in order to do that, uh, we need to know that this admin password, what is the type of the admin password? Let's go back to the template, go up to just find the admin password parameter. Here is the place that uh, you can see the definition of the parameters. And as you can see, the admin password has been defined as a secure screen, a string. So we need to define a password here. So I would say password, for example, or maybe admin, admin pass, for example. And uh, we can say convert convert to secure or oh, it should be like this sorry convert to secure string and here we say minus minus a string uh, we can type something and uh, and then after that we can say uh, minus as plain text because this is a plain text we want to convert to secure string so we cannot do this because we need to force it actually let's force it and now we have an admin password and uh, now we can run the template in order to run the template there is a command uh, new az resource group uh, deployment this is a command you use to run the template. So let's uh, give some parameters to this uh, command. There are some parameters we have to uh, fill, otherwise this command is not running. The name of the deployment is, for example, deploy new VM, for example. You can put anything you want, just a name. The next thing is the resource group. The resource group is the resource group we create, RG, dash dev dash zero zero two then we need to define uh, a template file yes the template now the template file the template file here is a template uh, json and then template uh, parameter file so that's also parameters and now for the the admin password we can add admin password and just pass the admin pass we created before so this is it this command should be enough this is a, a basic a minimum parameters we have to uh, 
pass to this command in order to uh, run the ARM template. Uh, let's see. Hopefully there is no error. If there is an error, we will look into it and fix it. So, in order to see if the command is working or not, uh, yeah, of course you can wait to see the result here in the terminal, but the best thing is to go back to uh, Azure, because on Azure I can show you. Inside the Azure, uh, I come to the, uh, the resource group, which I chose for this command. The interesting thing is that I can click on the deployments. So as you can see on the deployment side, I can see what is happening. So if I click on this deployment, it shows me here the deployment progress, same as what you were doing uh, when you created a, a virtual machine from a portal. And as you can see, the virtual machine is created successfully. If I go back to resource group, you can see the list of the resources here. If I come back to the command, as you can see, the, the command window is also show me the, the deployment was successful. I can scroll up. It gives me some more information about uh, what happened. Here is the provisioning state succeeded. The name of the deployment, the name of the resource group, the timestamp, and also the list of the resources uh, that have been uh, created during this uh, deployment. This is quite interesting that how you can uh, uh, create uh, the virtual machine using the ARM template uh, by PowerShell. And as you can see, it's just one line of command, which means that you can easily turn uh, this uh, PowerShell script uh, to a automated pipeline. So you can add this uh, templates and also using this PowerShell script to make it automated in a pipeline. So then you have a, a fully automated pipeline which you can use to create a, a infrastructure. In the other videos, I'm going to show you that how you can act, uh, create this template using Visual Studio code and also work with the different part of the template. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you uh, like to see more videos, please subscribe to the channel and thank you.